Alabama gets beat by Vanderbilt. Instant reaction here. So this is a huge win. The first time that Vanderbilt has beaten Alabama at home since 1976 and the first time that they have beat Bama since 1984. This is absolutely incredible. And the Crimson Tide were number one after that big win against Georgia last week. But if you have been watching and listening to Unafraid Show, I have told you guys, this is the new normal season. There is no more roll your helmets out on the field and win. There's no more of that. There is less depth on all of these teams, despite the blue chip rankings and all of that. And the most important thing is that the talent is more spread out. But the most important thing that you need to know about how Vanderbilt upset Alabama is they didn't play scared. When it came in the big moments, it came uh, Clark Lee, big balls, man. They went out and they uh, every time they needed a third down, get a big second down, anything. Diego Pavia made good decisions. And most importantly, at the end of the game, they did not do what Kentucky did against Georgia and play scared. Don't be scared. Don't play scared. Fortune favors the aggressive. So what does this mean? Let's break down the numbers just a little bit because Vandy runs that triple option hybrid kind of Air Forcey, half Navy sort of thing. It's because they need that to have an advantage. But their their quarterback Diego Pavia, he displayed the type of poise, the type of good decision making that it takes to win big time football games. And now this loss is not going to be devastating for Alabama in terms of their ability to make the college football playoff. But what it does do, it shrinks the margin of error for them. And it raises the bar because (laughs) probably ain't going to be no undefeated SEC teams. We will be lucky if we finish with one undefeated team this college football year because it is... This is the new normal season. You you guys, this college football playoff has changed everything. We are seeing players opt out during the season. And yes, it's college football playoff, NIL, and everything in between. So you are going to see Bama play more close games. You are going to see Georgia play more close games. And lows. Not just Georgia, but same thing with all the top teams. That's what you're going to see. And when we get in the playoff, and this is exactly why I wanted a college football, a real playoff outside of that little four team vote them in sort of thing. It's because we are going to get different results. People would tell you all that all Alabama and Georgia are going to continue to win. There is no team outside of Texas at this point in time that I believe that I trust to line up against Vanderbilt. That I, that I trust to lay, line up against whoever the Vanderbilt is in their conference, and I'm 100% sure that they are going to win. That's it, Texas right now. And if you follow the Unafraid Show, then you would know that we don't play these games. Our rankings are based upon three most important three things. Uh, quality wins, schedule played, and dominance. That's what you got. And that's how we came up with these rankings. But let's look at this Alabama team. First of all, Ryan Williams, absolute dog, huge play today. That 58-yard touchdown was, I mean, just unbelievably special. But this was a game where Alabama struggled to run the football. Now, they did only try to run it 21 times. And now we are going to find out who Kalen DeBoer really is. Now, we know he's a great coach, great schemes, X's and O's. But there is a total difference once that Bama monkey starts jumping on your back, once that pressure of being the Alabama head coach, and not you just lost the game. If they had lost to Georgia, it would have been like, okay, it was a close game. You know, all of those things. We were winning. We didn't close the game, and that's frustrating. But – this is one of them that that them Alabama fans are going to be side-eyeing you on. This is one of them, like, come on, man. You, you drank the damn rat poison? You drank the rat poison? So now 
there is less margin for error for this Alabama team to not only get into the college football playoff, but to get into the SEC championship because them and Georgia both have losses. But when you see what they have coming up, they have South Carolina this week, and that's not a layup next Saturday. They have Tennessee, definitely not a layup. That's going to push them to the max. Missouri, nah, I think they'll stomp past Missouri, but if Missouri comes and plays well, who knows? And then you got LSU. They got Mercer, Oklahoma, and Auburn. So this is not a walk out the door for Alabama after you uh, lost this game today. And the SEC standings are going to be tight. And the and without the divisions, this is perfect. This is exactly the way it should be. Ain't no ain't no easy pro, ain't no easiness on the east or the west. Nah, you got to go through that whole shebang, bro. All right, now the next thing up, you have. Um, I wanted to go into Vandy for a second because Vandy deserves all sorts of credit. Um, uh, Pavia, Lord have mercy, their their running back Cedric Alexander, uh, AJ Newberry did a good job. Diego Paria, in addition to throwing the ball 20 times, ran the ball 20 times too. This was a special game. And this Alabama defense, this shows that they can be moved, that they can be scored upon. And for so many years, we taught that I was told, oh, listen, we play defense down in the SEC. Well, we, we don't have these high scoring games, these 30, 40 point games. Well, that's what we get all the time now because great offense makes it very tough on really good defense. So now you got to play really good defense, but then you got to put a competent offense out on the field. And no, this game did not lose Jalen Milrow, a potential for the Heisman Trophy. He's still in that in that race, but behind Ashton Genty and behind um, Travis Hunter as well. So now that door is open and back up as well because a lot of people thought that with that Georgia game, he might have cemented it. Nah, fam, there's still a very, very long chance to go. And now Vanderbilt is 3-2. and two. Now, I'm wondering how the AP poll is going to react to this because Alabama is number one right now with 41st place votes. Texas has 19 and Ohio State has four. So you can't drop Alabama below Georgia, can you? I don't think so. And Georgia's number five right now, and they didn't lose this weekend. And we understand how the AP poll reacts to a lot of these these things. I have Georgia lower in the Unafraid Show poll, which I will put up right now. And then you guys can hit on your phones and see the AP poll versus the Unafraid Show poll. But I've dropped Georgia all the way down to eight. And now we're going to see because I wasn't uh, jumping Alabama over Texas because of that Georgia win, because the AP poll even has Michigan as a top 10 team and Texas went into the big house and kicked the a hole in Michigan. So now how are they going to handle this? Because uh, Georgia is clearly a very good football team, but, you can't rank them behind them, right? Like there's no way that you're going to be able to rank Alabama behind Georgia this week. I don't think it's possible. Um, Yeah, that, that would be absolute craziness if they did that. Okay. So I was pulling up the, um, the AP rankings the way you guys can see them as well here. So now where does Alabama go? Because this is a loss to an unranked team. So this is exactly why it matters what happens on the field and your quality opponents and everything else. So they're going to drop Alabama to like four probably. Depending on what happens with uh, Miami, because Penn, Penn State won already. Missouri, uh, they took an L today. So they may drop them behind Georgia, but how is that going to work? That's going to be weird. And they're likely not going to drop Georgia further back, but we shall see. We shall see. All right. And um, yeah. And I wonder if they are going to put Alabama. Well, excuse me, if they are going to rank Vandy after this game, 
because Vandy is is two and two, and there is no way in hell that Vandy should be ranked after this win. They should not. They lost to uh, who was it? Georgia Southern or Georgia State? They lost to Georgia State, and they played Missouri close. So yeah, that Georgia State loss is going to preclude you from being in the top twenty five probably in the unafraid show rankings but we shall see once we put it in the whole little algorithm but you guys though you guys make sure that you guys keep tapping in for the game updates and you know breaking news when we have to have it i'm george reister follow the unafraid show because we got all sorts of stuff for you peace out make sure that you like and subscribe